Brett, what's your position here at the restaurant? I'm the cafe manager and executive chef at Stripe Cafe. And how long has Stripe Cafe been here? We've been here since November 3rd of last year. Where, where did this all start from? Well, Joe Baker wanted to really make some more of a community, and he thought one of the best ways, and one of the best ways is to bring food in, because food really brings anyone and everyone together. And uh, there's a lot of great things that we've heard from customers about your restaurant. What do you think makes you stand out from, uh, well, really, any of the other restaurants here on the peninsula? Uh, not that we're any better or any worse. We just believe in bringing the freshest, best ingredients and making as much as we can on premises, just trying to keep all the good food and keep it seasonal. And that's, uh, that's sort of our philosophy on food here. And wh wh where do you come from? What's your background here in uh, being an executive chef? Well, I grew up in Long Beach, California. I started cooking my junior year of high school. That sort of took me to Denver, Colorado. I studied culinary arts at Johnson Wales. After that, I went, kept going to school for my Bachelor of Science in Nutrition. And after that, my feet sort of took me all over the world, Italy, Croatia, South America, just to cook and work and travel and see different things. Wow, that's great. So you've, uh, you're bringing a world uh, taste to uh, PV. Yeah. Well, I mean, just long, LA is one of the most international cities in the world. You're going to see people from all over. So I think it fits really well to try and bring different flavors and influences here together. Well, today I have the open face vegetable tartine sandwich, and it's really, really great. And how many times have you come here before, Ruff? Oh, we since it opened, I've probably been here about tw a dozen times at least, both for his lunches, and then my husband and I came for his pop-up dinners. We also enjoyed the baked goods in the mornings. And uh, what what, what, what do you like about the, the restaurant? What brings you back? Well, I think that Brett is an extremely, you know, innovative young chef. But more than that, you just look at it. Um, at first, when I first walked in here, I thought it was only a coffee bar and something to help out the art center. But this is a real asset to the art center, the fact that it's, the, the, it's done by a famous artist here for Stripes Cafe. It's a great concept, fantastic food, and a great price point. Uh, today, I'm having the grilled cheese and jam sandwich and I got bacon added to it and I have a side of the house made fry and a side of house made chips very good and what do, what do you think about your food so far I think it's very good I really like how they use he used a um, kind of pear to make a good contrast with the sal overall saltiness of the bacon and the cheese and sourdough and uh, have, have you had some other favorites that you have here at the restaurant personally I really like the hamburger here I really like the hamburger here. It was probably the first one I've had. So it was the first one I had, so it kind of holds a special place in my heart. <laughs> and would you suggest other kids your age come and try the place out? Yeah, they have a kid's menu. It's, it's relatively simple. And uh, they, also, if you're just like a bit older, I think they also have a good menu if you um, don't really want that kid stuff. Tell me about what food you just had. Okay, I had the turkey sandwich. It was unlike any turkey sandwich I've ever had on a wonderful wheat bread uh, with garbanzo bean marinated salad. For dessert, we had the lavender-infused cake, which is just fabulous. How many times have you come here so far? This is only my second time, but I'm going to be back a lot more. We needed something like this on the hill. Well, as you can see, folks, I absolutely enjoyed all of my food. I ate it all up. I had the uh, delicious sandwich and uh, tortilla soup with the, the whole, uh, fresh made tortillas and the Nutella coffee. Absolutely delicious. I would recommend you come down here and then take a stroll through the PV Art Center. Back to you, Maria. Well, we're back here at the PV Art Center at the Introduction to Fashion Design class. It's a really great class, and their graduation is a fashion show, which we're going to check out in just a minute. But first, we're going to talk to the instructor. This is my third summer at Palos Verdes uh, at the Art Center, and uh, yeah, third summer. Do you feel like you've got a growing interest in the class? And has it been a, had a good uh, momentum? Yeah, it's growing, you know, slowly but surely. And 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 we're having uh, students coming back to watch the to watch the work of the the students from past years coming back to watch the work of the new students. What keeps you coming back? <laughs> I just love it here. It's so pretty. Everybody is very friendly, and the students are excited to be here and happy to learn and make clothes and it's a really fun experience for me. I really like it. So walk me through what they learn in the class, kind of some of the structure and then how the class ends. Sure. So it's a two week uh, workshop. The first week is mostly about designing. So the students work on various projects. They design their collection, they design clothes. Uh, we talk about fashion history. We watch uh, 
fashion documentaries. Um, and the second week is definitely more about making clothes. So I have a um, construction mentor joining me the second week. And uh, together we work with the students and then they sew their own garments and they get ready for the fashion show. That's the uh, conclusion of this two week workshop. I used to just sketch and like doodle in a notebook. So then I just came here to see how you like actually make the clothes. And what do you think so far? What, what are your impressions? Um, I really like this class. It's fun and um, it's actually, you learn a lot because you've, we learn about fashion history and different influences. Um, like for this one, it was like a 1970s um, inspired punk project. Uh, yeah, I see the uh, Dead Kennedys and uh, Dream Theater, Nirvana, and some rock and roll stuff on the wall there, Metallica. Yeah, um, so it's basically like something that is inspired by back then, but people today would still wear. And this is all pre-design, pre uh, where you're actually sewing and putting the garments together. Now you've actually put a garment together that we have here. What is, yeah. what is this? Um, it's just like a black lace skirt. Um, I liked it because it was really open and um, interesting. Uh, I was originally going to put like a different piece of uh, bright green under it to make it pop, but um, uh, my teacher suggested it's I should make two pieces, and I found it better looking when it was just the lace. Um, I just well, my mom is really interested in fashion, so I get a lot of inspiration from her, and we always like to go shopping together. And on um, Instagram, I'm always following like the different brands and designers, so it's really exciting to see those pictures during the fashion weeks. So that kind of it, what is what inspires me to design and stuff like yeah. Well, so let's touch on some of your designs here. So this is your first part of the um, class, right? You picked out some items. Or can you describe what you have behind you? So. The this was inspired by the 70s decade and I did more of a boyish look and like into the motorcycle and also inspired by Patti Smith. So there's a picture of Patti and then I have my different designs here and the fabrics and some pictures to go along with it. And so this has led to an actual uh, real garment, which is behind you. Can you describe your garment for us? Right. So I did some culotte shorts. So they're like really big full shorts, kind of like a skirt. And I matched it. I'm going to make a top with this material so that it's like a sort of a crop top on top similar to my drawing. It's been going great. I'm loving this class. Um, you learn so much in this class. Um, the first week you learn a lot about how to draw on the fashion history of all the stages of fashion to the 1800s to current and then like future we kind of like talk about like what's gonna happen next year what's gonna happen uh, you have a very interesting fabric there and a cool color choice yeah. feels kind of Hawaiian where did you find that fabric um, I found it on the table over there and I wanted to go for the kind of look of well my style is more dark and black but I wanted to mix a bright color and a cool texture of fabric with a more dark top so color on the bottom and then um, darker on the top. So your outfit will have a, like a black top and then th this is yeah. the skirt? Is that right? Yeah. And I'm trying to go for like the high-waisted, more, I don't know, old-fashioned look, <laughs> if, you, if you will. But um, yeah, just something like that. Not, not anything like my usual style. So. so the fashionistas here at the PV Art Center worked on a new look for me. What do you think back there at the studio?